during the span of his career, he's impacted American corporate culture and stakeholder relations in, in an unprecedented way, and today it's the norm. Uh, he's found what has grown into one of the larger independent producers in the United States for natural gas. He continues to make innovative strides in the energy industry as he fights for America. And I think about this, he fights for our economy, he fights for our environment, and he fights for our people. And how does he do that? You know, he's got a campaign out there to plan. I think a man with a plan talking about alternative energy sources that are American. I think it will happen. If it doesn't, it's going to happen this year. And this is what will happen, and it will affect you, all of you here in the room. One, because you're Americans, and if you're not, or you, if it's uh, anybody here from in Canada, from Canada, uh, it's North America. It's us together is what it is. And we've got to get off of the OPEC oil. All of it, maybe not, but we've got to get it cut down. But when we start coming back to us, to our resource, okay, then the question is, do we have enough natural gas to do it? Uh, we do. A guy told me one time, said, if you're going to plant a tree, when would be the perfect time to plant it? 20 years ago. <laughs> Just in case you didn't. When is the second best time? Today. You better get something going and just figure that you're a hell of a lot better off. I, I can sit here and talk about Washington until uh, it's dark. And, uh, and I can tell you, so I said, how much legislation have you ever influenced? I've stopped some things, but I never started anything until this. I, I, I'm going to get this done. I promise you it is going to happen.